Most of all, pray with all your heart that the impending events will be circumvented and people's hearts will turn to me. This is my complaint. Even my brides have become insensitive to my tears and distress. They have taken their eyes off the hand of their master at a time when he has great need of them. Please, beloved ones, I need your attention, your prayers, and your love, whether you show your love to the little ones who have needs or through declining to indulge your appetites. Whatever you do for me, I take as a wedding present, a sign of love for your groom, and I'm deeply appreciative. So I ask you, dear ones, Humble yourselves, examine your habits and attitudes, repent of any wrongdoing in the sight of the angels, go out of your way for others, and most of all, soften your hearts as you keep your gaze steadily on my hands, so that you can fulfill my needs. Then you will be taken in the rapture because you have made your minute-to-minute -minute priority to be one and the same with mine. This makes you my dearly beloved ones, and I prepare the place for you at my wedding feast. Do these things, and you will hear, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into your master's joy.